My name is Alan and I'm going to teach a class here with, about the knees. I think it's very important that the knees are strong and what, what is happening with, particularly with girls, that they're wearing high heels, so many people cannot straighten their knees. And if you don't straighten the knees, the musculature of the leg is not working. So over time, it will cause problems around the knee joint and around the ankle. So we're going to start with the hamstrings and glutes. That's the, the top of the leg, the bum, and then the hamstrings down here, which is a very strong support for the knee joint. So Sanya and um, Joanna, would you lie down on your front? We put the pillow under the abdominals to help to support the lower back. Because um, if you're going to lie in this position for too long, this area of the back needs to be supported. Sanya, can you take it up just a little higher? Can you? That's it. Okay, and down. And rest your forehead down onto your hands. Have the legs parallel. Now, what you're going to do as you breathe out, you're going to squeeze the sit bones together. That's just the base of the pelvis. I mean, the sit bones don't actually move, but it's the muscles around them. So take a breath in, relax completely. And now as you breathe out, squeeze. And as you squeeze, you should feel a gentle lengthening of the lower back and a lift of the stomach muscles. Hold for four counts and then relax, breathing in. And breathe out and squeeze. And relax, breathing in. Remember to keep the rest of the body quite relaxed and breathe out and squeeze so the shoulders are relaxed as you squeeze. Hold for four counts and then relax, breathing in. One more time. Breathe out and squeeze and breathe in and relax. We've just done four. But if you're doing this on your own, at least eight or ten in each position. So with the step, well, you're going to squeeze again quite strongly and then let go around 50%. Just let the muscles relax a little. Holding on to the left leg, so that's your supporting leg. As you breathe out, bend your knee and breathe in to lower and hold, breathe out and bend. We'll do four times on the right and then four on the left. But as I said earlier, you need to do more, at least eight or 10 in each position. If while you're doing this exercise, you feel it very uncomfortable on the, on the knee joint, on the kneecap, you can put a folded towel under the thigh, just above the knee, so it takes the pressure away from the patella, from the kneecap, and then down. It also raises the leg up a little, which will work your hamstrings more. And bend, breathing out. And breathe in to go down, making sure the leg stays parallel all the time and a gentle hold, particularly on the standing leg. Ideally, when you do this exercise, the pelvis should not move at all. So it's completely held, with just gentle dropping down the lower back. And down. And always make sure that the heel comes in a straight line in line with the, the center of the pelvis on this side, the sit bone on this side. <coughs> Excuse me. Now go back to your first side. You breathe out and bend up, bend 90 degrees. Now very gently lift your knee off the ground so it works right up into the top of the hamstring. Lower the leg down and straighten. And four times. Breathe out and bend, and lift, lower, 
and down. And bend. Lift. Lower and down. And bend. And lift. Lower and down. And bend the other leg. And lift. Low and down. When you do the regular bend without the lift, you're using the center of the muscle here, the be what we call the belly of the muscle. When you bend, it gets the belly of the muscle working. As you lift your knee, it travels up to the top of the muscle here, which works much deeper. And down. The main thing is when you lift your knee up, you don't change the position of your pelvis. It stays absolutely still. So the other leg that you're not using is your supporting leg. And then down. And one more time. And bend. And lift. Lower. And down. Okay, sit up and stretch your backs out. and sit at the end of your mat here. You can leave your pillows there. Sit at the end of the mat with your legs stretched out to the side. So come to the end and stretch out there. Okay, just place your hands back behind and just a slight lean back. So it's a curve, a slight C curve, so you're curling, just a slight curve of the lumbar spine, which stops the hip flexors, the top of the legs working too much. Take a breath in. Now, as you breathe out, slowly with a soft flex, flex foot parallel leg, and slowly slide the right leg across so you're using the inside of your right leg to go across. And breathe in and take it back. Let's alternate on this. So it's the left leg, slide across. So as you work the inside of the leg, as it goes across, you're stretching the outside. And back. And right leg across. Keep the stomach muscles lifted. And back. And left leg. Keep lifting up through your center as you do it. And back. And right leg. Now try and get your heel to touch. Lengthen the leg a little more, Sandy. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. There you go, that's it. And back. And last one, left leg. Lengthen the leg, lengthen it. Oops, it's shortened. Yeah, and back. Now, very gently to outwardly rotate the leg. So you're working a little further around towards the hamstrings. And now right leg, stretch across, pull up your center. And back, flex this foot just a little. And left leg, make sure the leg stays on the, on the ground. Don't let it lift. If the leg lifts up, you're using your quadricep, the big muscles here and it stops the inner thighs working as well. And back. And curve. Keep the hips square. Try not to shift the hips when you pull across. Keep them very square. You're both slightly lifting your hips off. So keep them down on the floor, particularly if you're using, for example, the right leg, that right hip must stay flat. Better. And straighten. And left leg. Breathing out as you do it. And breathe in to come back. And last set. And back. 
and left leg and back.